Wake up, fool. Anyway, sometimes you're gonna come into your building. You know, you run a building. We got three elevators here. Okay? And we had to put one out because you see at the side it says we're first floor. This is saying saying something with the first floor. Something. That means something wrong with the elevator's not moving or something, something's wrong. And this here, right? Three floors. So in these times like this, you're gonna to have to first remember I was telling you about the elevators and your elevators. I'm gonna first go upstairs to the elevator room and I'm gonna check the elevator room. Well, I'm gonna restart the elevator, reset it, okay? So if you got one elevator in your building, that's the bad thing because now what you have to do is you have to walk all the way up to the elevator room. Up the steps, all the way to the top, to the elevator room. So I'm gonna take the other elevator, yeah. This is my freight. Okay, take them to the top. 10th floor. We got 11 floors, but really got 10 floors and we got like a setback roof that's, there's like a penthouse up there that they've made into an office. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna reset the elevator. And I hope it works. I got my two-way communication. This is one of the most important things. Top floor in your building, okay? If you're a maintenance guy, uh, whatever security, um, also the cleaners, you need to have that two-way radio communication. It's, it's best to have it, okay? Um, a lot of things get eliminated with that. Uh, it's not just uh, letting people about know, know about uh, there's a repair here done or there's a emergency done uh, that's need to be done here. Um, there's also, you know, other things like, you know, it's a safety issue. Like this, uh, you know, there's this, this some burst person uh, that's doing some foolishness in your building, like, you know, some crime. You know, so that helps with that. But the best thing is to get the communication between each other and it helps. Okay, so we're gonna go on here. Out on my roof, okay? Like I said, they're doing some work up here. So, we're going our way up to my elevator room. Yep, it's a journey. <laughs> they're doing work, they're doing the facade work here, so I have to climb over sky roof. And just do a dip your head, make sure you don't brush your head. Knock your head in the way. Here we're gonna go to my elevator room. And that, like I said before, you need to know your elevators. This is number one and two. Okay? That's the second elevator. That's the part. It was the one in the middle. Okay? It's the one in the middle. So, we're gonna go over here and shut down number two okay i give it about 10 seconds and uh i turn it back up and that's it you can hear it start i hope i get some movement now i'm going to radio here we go. Number two. Sound like something happened. This might be somebody else moving. This is another elevator. See? That's number one moving. Okay? Now I'm just gonna call down to the radio the radio to security and see if he can tell me if the elevator looks like it's okay down there. Pick up, Lois. How are we looking down there with the uh, elevator number two? Have you shut it down? I reset it, yes. Okay, it's back to 
normal on one. You want me to set it up? Yeah, set it up. Give it a run. Okay, now we're going to see if this is going to run. He's going to press the elevator. Let's see if it runs. It's moving, see? So, it worked. So, the thing is, after you do that, make sure you monitor your elevator. You know, you monitor it. Make sure it's still running good. You know, if it runs good for the next few runs, um, you need to get in it yourself and run it a few times. Okay? If it runs good, then you just say it's okay. But if you have another problem, best thing to do is just call the elevator company. Remember, all they can do is hit these disconnects, bam, off, give it about 10 seconds, bam, back on. And that's it for your elevator. Okay? And he's telling me that it's moving. So we just hope it works good. If not, like I said, hope nobody gets stuck. <laughs> but anyway, if that happens too, I know how we have a drop key and stuff like that, and I work on it. But, but also, when you do that, you're going to get somebody out there. Always make sure you come to your elevator room first. Cut the power off to that uh, elevator. Okay? If you're going to try to get them out, do that first. Do not try to do it while the elevator's on. Cut it off. Okay? All right, folks. That's it on the elevators. Thank you.